hello friends welcome to instrumentation triple e tutorials and this is our video based on control walls problems and troubleshooting so in our industrial instrumentations whenever you are going for any interviews and these types of questions always ask so here we have some interview question and answer which will definitely will help out to crack the any interview so these are the questions generally ask related to control walls what is the cavitation what is the flushing and what is the erosion what is the choked flow and what is the wall leakage and its classes so we will cover everything related to these five topics which will definitely help to crack any interview so now the first our part is what is the cavitation but before going to the cavitation we will talk about what is the flushing what is the meaning of the flushing so we will understand the what is the flushing what is the cavitation so before going to in details we will draw one diagram or one through this graph we will understand what is the flushing and what is the um, cavitations so in our y axis we have a pressure so now what we will see if the we have a one paper pressure line of fluid which fluid is going through that wall the paper pressure line okay the fluid paper pressure line means at this pressure whenever the at this pressure the fluid will convert into paper so that's why this line is drawn now whenever your uh, some fluid is going through your wall okay now this is also line whenever you are some fluid is going through this line then your pressure will decrease but suddenly it will increase and it will get some uh, pressure drop this is the normal pressure normal pressure whenever any fluid is going through any wall and this is how it actually obey the pressure line now whenever your fluid is going through the wall and when it crosses its vapor pressure line and and also it maintain the pressure below the vapor pressure line then it is called the flushing and flushing i know flushing some bubbles are generate or we can say some bubbles are created so in flushing when the bubbles are created and then they strike the seal or any plug of the wall then they damage so this is the flushing okay now our second part is also cavitation so whenever the pressure drop of uh, the fluid crosses or gain again some pressure so at this after this point the cavitation occur cavitation occur where your wall will have the severe damage and in after this point the bubble will collapse what bubble generated in a flushing after crossing this paper line the cavitation will occur and the bubble will collapsed okay so this is the very severe condition where your uh, plug your connected any material of the body will damage so this is the flushing and this is the cavitations simple meaning of the flushing and cavitation and now what is the erosion because we have seen the cavitation we have seen the flushing uh, due to flushing and corrosion uh, cavitations wall plug wall internal get damaged so this is called the erosion where your plug wall internals and the material which is directly contact with the fluid passing through that wall get damaged that is called the erosion so what is the choked flow it is also very important when this is your wall okay okay so this will also we will try to understand with the help of one graph so here is flow and here is your pressure drop 
सो जनरली योर फ्लो इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू योर डेल्टा पी रूट ऑफ डेल्टा पी ओके वी हैव सीन इन थियोटिकल सो वॉट इज द चॉक्ड फ्लो वेन योर डेल्टा पी डेल्टा पी इज इंक्रीजिंग ओके डेल्टा पी इंक्रीजिंग बट यूर फ्लो इज सब्सटेंसली कॉन्स्टेंट मीन्स यूर फ्लो इज नॉट इंक्रीजिंग देन द चॉक्ड फ्लो अकर्ड सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द चॉक्ड फ्लो दिस इज द नॉर्मल फ्लो एंड दिस इज द चॉक्ड फ्लो वेयर यूर फ्लो इज नॉट चेंजिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द चेंजिंग ऑफ द डेल्टा पी सो दिस इज द चॉक्ड फ्लो नो द लास्ट इज वॉट इज द वॉल लीकेज यू हैव सीन बेन यूर वॉल is fully closed then there is f1 flow this is the f2 flow so some flow is observed the downstream of the wall then it is called the wall leakage so the wall leakage is very important and what is the wall leakage classes so wall leakage classes are defined on the based of how much we can afford the leakage from the wall during the wall close conditions so we will talk about what is the wall leakage classes so generally there are six type of leakage classes leakage class first second third fourth fifth and sixth so uh, these classes are defined based on maximum leakage allowable through the wall so uh, when we are increasing or we are going from class first to say then the maximum leakage allowable is decreased so generally and uh, uh, the cost cost of the wall also increasing when we are going from there to there so what is the wall leakage class meaning of first second third fourth fifth we will talk about in a next video so this is our first uh five point we have covered what is the cavitation what is the flushing erosion chalk flow and wall leakage if you are new on our youtube channel then please subscribe and also like this video and press the bell icon and also comment us for uh, other video and thank you very much for watching this video till the end